Now let's take a look at your passage from the literature anthology book for Unit 2, Week 2. Genre. Drama. Renita, the Frog Princess by Carmen Agraditi. Illustrated by Renato Alarqueo. Essential Question. How do animal characters change familiar stories? Read how a determined frog adds a twist to a well-known tale. Setting. Long ago in Mexico. The Viceroy's Hunting Lodge in Chapultepec Forest. Players. Felipe, the Viceroy's rotten son. Pepe, Felipe's mistreated servant. Renita, a little frog with a mysterious past. Vieja Sabia, a wise but cranky old woman. Viceroy, the representative of the Spanish throne. Viceroy's wife. Cook, man one. Man two. Servant one. Servant two. Man three. Extras. Members of hunting party. Servants attending dinner. Noblemen and ladies. Scene 1. In a forest clearing, men are frantically searching the ground. From a nearby stone well, Renita watches but remains unnoticed. Man 1. Frustrated. Keep looking. If we don't find that golden arrow. Man 2. We'll be on tortillas and water for the next month. Men, grumbling, all agree. Enter Felipe. Felipe, loud and demanding. Well, have you found my golden arrow yet? Man three, not yet, senor. Felipe, sweetly, hand over heart. It was a gift from my dear mother. Turning suddenly and hissing, find it or I will feed you to the jaguars, starting with my bumbling servant, Pepe. It's his fault I missed my mark. Now, out of my sight, all of you. Men exit hurriedly. Felipe, stomping foot and whining. I want my golden arrow back. Renita, sitting on top of well, holding the golden arrow. You mean this golden arrow? Felipe, joyously. My golden arrow! You found it! You... Stops cold. You're a frog! Renita, you were expecting a Mayan princess, perhaps? Felipe, rolls eyes. Well, I wasn't expecting a talking frog. Renita, sighs. I'm under a spell. I don't like to talk about it. Felipe pauses to think. Not my problem. Hand over the arrow. Renita, plink, drops it back down the well. Hmm, looks like it's your problem now. Felipe, n n no threateningly. What have you done, you foolish frog? Renita. If I am so foolish, how come I am the one with the arrow while you are the one standing there talking to a rana, a frog? Felipe, I would squish you right now, sniffs. But you are only a frog. Renita, warningly, you want that golden arrow? Felipe, suspicious, in exchange for what? Renita. A promise. Felipe, relieved. Oh, is that all? Renita, a promise is a very serious thing. Felipe, coughing. Yes, yes, of course. Go on. Renita, if I rescue your golden arrow, you must promise to let me eat from your plato. Sleep in your comma, and give me a beso when the sun comes up. 
Felipe, just stares. Eat from my plate? Sleep in my bed? Kiss you? That is disgusting. Renita, no promise, no golden arrow. Felipe, crossing his fingers behind his back, I promise. Renita fetches the arrow. Felipe bows and runs off. Renita, espera, wait. I can't hop that fast. Hangs her head and begins to cry. He's gone. Now I'll never break this evil spell. Enter wise woman, leaning on two canes. Vieja Sabia. It doesn't feel very good, does it? Renita blows nose. Please no lectures today, old woman. Vieja Sabia. My name is Vieja Sabia. Renita. It's sorry, wise old woman. Sadly. You've already turned me into a frog. Isn't that enough? Vieja Sabia. You wouldn't be a frog if you hadn't refused to give me a drink from this well so long ago. Renita. I was a selfish child then. I have paid for that, haven't I? I have learned what it is like to be alone and forgotten. Vieja Sabia. Perhaps you have. Renita, brightening. Then you will turn me into a girl again? Vieja Sabia. No, but I will take you as far as the Viceroy's hunting lodge. You must make the leap from there. Exit Vieja Sabia and Renita. Scene 2 Hunting Lodge with Viceroy, his wife, noblemen and women, all seated at long banquet table. Servants scurry in and out with bowls of food. Servant 1 Placing bowl of soup before Viceroy. Sopa, senor? Viceroy. Exasperated. Si, si. Where is Felipe? Viceroy's wife, wistfully. Dear boy, he is probably feeding the birds. Servant 2. Aside. To the cat. Servant 1. Muffles laugh. Enter Felipe. Felipe. I am famished. What a day I have had today. First, I lost my golden arrow. Shouting from the kitchen can be heard. Felipe, louder. Then I met this ridiculous, demanding... Enter Renita, running from the kitchen chased by cook and servants. Felipe, slack-jawed. Frog! Cook. You hop back here, to servant. Stop her right now. Servant one, tries to catch frog. Aye, she's a slippery one. Servant two, ooh-wee, she bit me. Cook, get her, Pepe. Pepe catches Renita under the table, smiles, and lets her go. A commotion follows as the cook and servants chase Renita. Viceroy. Basta! Enough! Who is this creature? Felipe, sneering. She's the nasty little frog who rescued my golden arrow. Renita. And in return he promised to let me eat from his plateau sleep in his comma, and give me a beso when the sun came up. Viceroy, did you make this promise? Felipe, sullen, I don't remember. Viceroy's wife, indignant, even if he did, he is the Viceroy's son. Viceroy, grave, see, and the Viceroy's son keeps his promises. Pepe, Set a place for our guest. Felipe. But father. Viceroy's wife. Ernesto. 
Viceroy. Slams fist on table. Silencio! Silence! Renita hops on table. Felipe is too stunned to speak. Viceroy's wife is glaring. Viceroy. Everyone, and I mean everyone, eat. Pepe puts bowl down in front of Felipe. Felipe gives a yelp. Pepe! Pepe, innocently. See? Felipe, disgusted. There is a fly in my soup. Pepe, it's for the frog. Viceroy, excellent. Eat up, Felipe. Viceroy's wife, revolted. Arg. Stop and check. Ask and answer questions. In what way are the Viceroy and his son different? Go back to the text to find the answer. Scene 3. Felipe's Bedroom. Felipe, on bed. I refuse to sleep next to a frog. Pepe! Pepe, enters immediately. Si, senor? Felipe, snappish. What took you so long? Hurry, tell my father I can't do this. Desperate. Tell him I'll get warts. Enter Viceroy. Viceroy, annoyed. With any luck, you will get one on your oath-breaking tongue, boy. Felipe, whining. Father. Viceroy, you made a promise, Felipe. To Pepe. Help him keep his word, eh, Pepe? Exit Viceroy. Felipe throws pillow at Pepe, falls on bed, and begins to wail. I... Pepe blows out candle and sits in chair. Hasta mañana. Until tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Felipe. Felipe growls. I will dream of roasted frog legs. Renita, I'm telling. Felipe, bug breath. Renita, big baby. Pepe, sighs. It's going to be a long night. Next morning. Renita, cheerful. Despierta, wake up. It's beso time. Felipe rubs eyes, sees Renita, and shrieks. Felipe, whimpers clutching his blanket. It wasn't a bad dream after all. Forget it, frog. I'm not kissing you. Renita, stubbornly, you promised. Felipe, well, smiles slowly. I've just had a better idea. Kicks chair to wake his servant. Pepe. Pepe, groggy. Senor. Felipe, you are sworn to obey me in all things, see? Pepe, confused. See, senor? Felipe, smug, kiss the frog. Pepe shrugs and kisses Renita's cheek. No longer a frog, Renita is now a beautiful Mayan princess. Felipe, dazzled. I, but who? Bowing, allow me to introduce myself. I am Renita. The Spanish Viceroy's rotten son, and I am the Mayan Emperor's lucky daughter. Felipe and Pepe fall on their knees. Renita, I have been enchanted for two hundred years. Felipe looks up. You've been a frog for two hundred years? What's so lucky about that? Renita, I'll tell you. As a princess, I could have ended up the wife of a spoiled brat like you. Instead, I found myself a prince. Takes Pepe's hand. A prince.